3370 okay for the first thing for your guys is that if you press this button it is very easy because for mobile devices it's very this device is very much detectable but when we are seeking to you know uh, do it with we connect it to our wireless hub uh, we literally do fail over here so for that part what you all guys have to do uh, i'm going to tell you today there is a very uh, i think this trick will help you everybody who are struggling along with this okay let's come to the desktop the very first thing we would do uh, is that uh, we have to go to the canon website and we have to look for the model of e3370 to cut it out uh, for you guys i have already you know bookmarked the site and i will uh, post it down into the link down below so you could directly download this handy driver over here so what you have to do is you have to download this wi-fi connection assistant driver from from this website so once the driver is installed uh, once the driver is i mean downloaded you have to install it and once it's installed you would uh, find something like this wi-fi connection assistant like it's showing over here okay so once you get connected to it first of all this thing since i am connected now so uh, since i'm connected now this thing will not pop it up so since you're connected the printer to a computer you have to search the printer by usb okay so it will search for a while over here it will show the bar like this and it will try to search uh, and find your printer so once it found uh, once it catches your printer up okay like uh, it will take some time okay. so here you can see it's showing like this okay it will show up like this once it catches your printer up uh, you have to get inside it now how we have to get inside it it will ask you for a password now what is this password this password is actually in here over here you can see the back side over here this this uh, this white sticker below there is a model number that model number is the password so once once you insert it like uh, uh, you will insert the password remember to turn on your caps lock or your password will be showing invalid so now we are inside it so over here you would see it's written infrastructure and ipv4 and anything remember it's always be ipv4 okay and we don't have to do anything we just have to click on the search button after after some time after some time it will search let it search like my, my wi-fi device is on so it will search the wi-fi so uh, i have two wi-fi's over my place this is my wi-fi uh, this is my top floor uh, wi-fi router and this is my down one. so i would uh, simply select this okay and i will tell it to set when i would do the set option it will automatically it will automatically when i turn on this it will automatically set the device to it and we have to wait for a while then after it all automatically goes to ipv4 i don't have to do anything since my setup is already been done uh, it will take some time remember so you can see right now it's showing to ipv4 when it does this when when it shows to ipv4 then the signal will automatically turn like this so this is a very short tutorial i think you would find this much informative and much better much easier for you for all those who are being struggling along how to get this signal uh, properly on your devices those who have bought this e3370 printer by from canon pixima it's a very good printer and you can literally go on for this so if you find this video helpful for you please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos and informative videos like this thank you and have a nice day